Hi, I'm Tamara Staten, CCL's Education and Resilience Coordinator, and this is the Resilience Corner. I want to do everything that I can to see that you have what you need to stay strong and steady in the important climate work that you're doing. Last month in the corner, we reviewed five key steps to deepening resilience. Noticing, accepting, seeking help, practicing, and repeating that process regularly. And then we took a deeper look at that third step, seeking help. Once we're able to notice, accept, and get help where we need it, we are more able to take action in the ways that support our well-being. Which brings us to our focus today on the fourth step, practice. A number of years ago, I felt really burned out, and it was clear that I needed a break from some of my climate advocacy. I was struggling with if and how to step away, though. I was anxious about the hole that I might leave if I did. Creating some space was definitely a challenging decision, but creating this space ultimately helped me find the energy that propelled deeper climate work that is more personally fulfilling for me. This is the beauty of practicing resilience. When combined with a sense of self-awareness, it affords us opportunities that didn't exist before. Learning to say no, creating space and boundaries, slowing down, or speeding up. Practice is similar to action, which we often talk about as being the antidote to despair. But unlike action, practice conveys a sense of regularity. It also sends the message that we don't have to get it right, that we can make mistakes and learn. In her fantastic book, Widen the Window, Elizabeth Stanley speaks to this value of practice. Rewiring the brain and body to improve our performance and build resilience, she says, requires an integrated training regimen and consistent practice over time. Just as muscle growth and improved cardiovascular functioning requires months of consistent physical exercise. Next month, we'll take a look at the last step. But for now, consider what practices might help you stay strong and focused in the face of climate change. Then try one or two of them this week. These might be ongoing practices or something you try in the moment, like breathing deeply when you feel frustrated. Maybe you spend more time in nature or make time to read a book that you love. Maybe you set up a recurring lunch date with a friend or coworker. Or maybe, just maybe, it's all about creating more fun, laughter, and joy in your work. Whatever you choose, have faith in its value because we need you and your deep commitment to a livable planet Earth. I'm Tamara Staten with The Resilience Corner. I thank you for being here and for your commitment to progress. To learn more about tools, trainings, and resources for deepening resilience, check out our Resilience Hub at cclusa.org forward slash resilience. From there, you can also access and share Resilience Corner videos with friends and family who might be interested. And until next month, remember this, you are strong, you are resilient, and you've got what it takes to make good things happen.